Stop wasting money on that dumb shit And instead, put it in investment I know, it's tempting You'll spend it and be broke again Stop wasting time on some nonsense And instead, put it in a lesson I know, it's boring But it's worth it at the end I know Last week on where we're investing But switching over to you in real estate I know you, I guess you're just about finished Renovating the house you have in Florida Like I told Taylor, I think we're closer to Cuba than Georgia So to Taylor's point of wanting to tour a house, I was still working in Georgia, figured out where basically Chase would go on all of these tours. Cause I'm sending her to these houses that are obviously, as, an in, as me wanting to become an investor and an entrepreneur, I'm looking for houses that need work, not a move in ready house. Cross the street is our house now, piece of trash house that she didn't even want to go in. <laughs> the real estate agent at the time with us, he kicked the door open and said, have fun because there's cockroaches falling off as you open the door. Um, so I fin ended up finding a private loan and getting it under contract. We closed right before the end of the year and we just moved in a couple weeks ago. And man, this place is looking great. The plan right now is we added all this, we forced all this value that we did a cash out refi and we're gonna take all the money out that we can. We're gonna pay off all of our loans and fees and then we're going to also have a check in our pocket for the next house. I learned a ton. You have to know people. You have to have some kind of material discounts. You gotta have people you do favors for so that they do favors for you. Not a single thing is the same in the same. That's kind of my main part of my focus right now is real estate. But when I'm looking for deals, the rent um, has to cover everything. And then I still wanna be able to make at least $250 profit every month, minimum most of my portfolio is completely uh, or most of it's real yeah. estate and then i have very little some exposure in cryptocurrency and then i would say like stock market index funds stuff like that is my next largest uh asset one week later so you said real estate's your biggest investment area uh stocks and mm -hmm. index funds and all that kind of thing is your Second, are you still actively investing in that area or is that kind of something you've dialed back on and you're focusing on real estate? So I'm putting a lot of money into real estate in terms of the active renovations and a lot of time into real estate learning and all of that mm -hmm. um, and this house, but I'm also at the same time saving um, for real estate. So when I have my, I have to put down a down payment or renovation cost needs more, I'm putting aside money every single month for that stuff. So I'm, yeah in turn still investing in real estate um, and then at the same time I'm putting aside I actually increased or doubled my uh, investment in the stock market and index funds so I increased both of those recently uh, hmm. so I am actively doing that um, cryptocurrency again I don't love it as an investment it's more of a if I have fun money or if I have money to throw aside yeah. um, that I don't really care about almost like a casino I'll just throw some money at it um, but I don't, I don't have a, I, I like the idea and I think it's interesting and fun, but that's why I only use excess money. I don't really yeah. use it as a huge investment. Um, yeah. I think so. NFTs could develop into something really good because the applications that you can uh, attach to it are endless and they have a lot of possibilities, <laughs> but the market right now just isn't where, just isn't close to what it needs to be for it to be that yeah. safer investment. And, and I, I think it could be down the road a big deal, um, mm -hmm. but they're talking about, I think 70 to 90 plus percent of all cryptocurrencies out there and all NFT projects out there are gonna be worth nothing at one point. Yeah, um, I believe it in the NFT recession. space, especially. So I, they say there's a lot of projects, or some projects that will make it, not a lot, um, but they have to have a true good foundation and I'm just not in that space enough. I don't put yeah. enough time or energy or money into it to know enough. So for that reason, I'm limiting my exposure to certain currencies and I'm putting minimal amount of money into it, all honesty, and it's not super consistent. I yeah. should be more consistent with it, but there's a lot of other things out there that I think have value, have more a bigger ROI, um, in my opinion, that I'm putting more of my, again, money and time into. Yeah, I put a decent bit of money in, uh, but I'm, I'm completely paused that for now. Uh, I feel like I've put enough yeah. into where if I decided to sell one of these NFTs or something, maybe I would reinvest that into another, but I don't plan on putting any new money into uh, NFTs right now. Crypto, if it 
uh, does another dip. Maybe I'll buy it a little bit. Not a lot at all, but so, it, it's definitely you, a more risky space right now. What does your crypto portfolio look like? How much, how much and how many different currencies do you have? Uh, I only have two cryptocurrencies currently, like in the actual coin, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum, which I have, I don't know, maybe... 500 or so in bitcoin and a few hundred in ethereum what so not a lot but in my nft portfolio uh i've invested a good bit the value it's currently at i don't know i think it's dropped i've probably yeah. put let's see a lot of boring math later yeah a few thousand dollars in nfts as a whole okay because uh, Steppen, which was a Solana-based project, we both bought into a little bit. We bought I into like, some... I do it, like Solana. Yeah. Uh, I, I like Solana, but I only buy that when I'm going to buy an NFT. I'm not really holding much Solana right now. Uh, gotcha. But I am holding Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then the NFT portfolio, I have Solana-based projects like Steppen and a couple others. Uh, a lot of Ethereum blockchain ones uh some of them are just free mints that i kind of just did because you know they're free men so i that's kind of the meta right now unfortunately and i don't really like that as an uh investment standpoint for the whole market as a whole but that's just where it is right now uh then a couple i've invested in uh the two that i've invested most recently in actually have have a healthy community and a healthy floor price right now one i bought for 0.09 and the floor price hasn't really dropped below 0.09 ever. Uh, the other gotcha. one I bought at like 0.2, and it's it's doubled. The floor price has doubled since then, so that one's a good That's one. Good. And I think it's a that long might be hold. one of the ones that you don't wait for it to keep growing. You just cut, take your profits, and let it be. And then maybe yeah. invest somewhere else. Maybe do something else with it. Who knows? But it might be because you don't know what's going to happen, and it might be that time since they're so volatile. Yeah. You already uh, got a double return. Yeah, and then the free free mints, yeah. I think I'll I'll get rid of those within the next couple of weeks. One of them I think the project's dead, I think the founders left. Another one I think is mm. pretty cool. The community's pretty active, but I think it's about run its course. Unfortunately, I won't say who's who right gotcha. there in case the community comes at me, but uh yeah, those are a couple I plan on getting rid of in the coming weeks could be tomorrow for okay so let's let's flip this a little bit or change course a little bit i'm gonna ask can you give me a goal you have for yourself that we can kind of narrow down we have it on video we can talk about in the future mm. um just quick one that comes to your head that you think you can attain or obtain and hit and then what you're doing to get to your goal and let's just do one in six months uh, so one month, uh, I plan on, like I said, getting out of some of these NFT projects. Unfortunately, I think the NFT market just as a whole is too hype based for me right now for it to be something that I'm very interested in. So plan on so getting your, what one month goal is to liquidate a lot of your NFTs and crypto. Yes, that's. Uh, it wasn't my original goal. The free mints I always planned on kind of flipping. Uh, just because I didn't really see any point. They didn't have any real utility, so I always kind of plan on that. Uh, but there are a few so that's others. Almost, that's almost too easy of a goal, though, because you just got to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what? I guess what, what would you be doing to get closer to that, or what's a goal that you can set a pathway for? and it, Or give it a definitive number, like I'm going to sell out of 75% of my portfolio, something like that where we can easily come back to this, or talk about this video at the end of the month and yeah. be like, did you hit your goal or not? I'm trying to think of how many I have and what percentage of my portfolio would be. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'd probably sell out of at least 30% of the portfolio. A couple of okay. them uh, will probably be sold within that next six-month period, but there are a couple that I kind of want to see what they're doing. Uh, okay. Then I'd say only... I'm really only a super attached to maybe 20% of my NFT portfolio that I'm like, these guys are pretty good. I like the community. I like where they're kind of heading. So that's, I'm really only attached to 20. 
Uh, but there's another like 50%, about half my portfolio that I'm kind of waiting to see that I, you know, put some money in. The community's kind of there, vision's kind of there. Then the other 30% or whatever it is, uh, is, is I'm, I'm going to offload those soon. Okay, uh, then so, you're looking at the end by the end of 2022. So you got right at about six months. Mm -hmm. What is your big your bigger goal? You have time to plan it. You have time to save for it. You got time to figure it out. What yeah, is your well, six month goal. I already kind of reworked my budget to where I guess it's a goal I've already started working to, but nothing I really have to change. I'm already saving towards investing in real estate. Uh, I need to just work through the pre-approval process to have that already just because a lot of people won't take you serious until then. And then I plan on at least having some offers for houses out there, whether or not I get a house, you know, it's kind of up to a few different things, but I, I want to be seriously in that market, looking actively looking for houses and putting offers out there. If, it, if I close on one, great. If not, Within the next several months, I'm going to keep obviously looking seriously and putting offers out there. So so your six-month goal is to buy a house, mm -hmm. and you're getting there by saving and... Uh, yeah, really I, I reworked the budget, my budget, like a month ago, and saving a lot of uh, other stuff and reallocated a lot about. of stuff towards real estate. So stuff that like was going to crypto and everything is going to real estate now, and uh, part of the stock funds I was putting aside are also going to real estate now just kind of rerouting yeah I like it and then I like them goals yeah so what about you your one month and six month goals we kind of already touched on yours I guess yeah a little bit uh, so yeah my one month goal is to wrap all this up uh, get the refinance done get the cash out um, once I know the refinance is pretty much set I'm just waiting for the check I'm going to already be shopping around and using my time wisely and best I can um, so that I can hit my six month goal, uh, which is going to be to purchase the next house, get it renovated, um, get all of it. I'm going to be running numbers like crazy. Um, I'm going to be looking around like crazy, trying to find a good deal. Uh, I've had a couple pop up, a couple of good ones, and there's one that might be coming up real soon. I think it's for, about to go up for sale. I got to go talk to them. Um, but <laughs> So I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm looking to buy another house, start getting it renovated, start getting it cleaned up, um, and then do the same process over again, get that system down, yeah. um, perfect that system, and just buy Burr Method, baby. If you haven't heard the Burr Method, go look it up on Bigger Pockets or watch one of our videos. Let us know if you wanna see that um, or us talk about it, but I love the Burr Method, yeah. and that's the route I'm gonna follow. Yeah, so you want a rental property, another rental property by the end of the year. Correct. My goal right now, since I'm small scale, is to do one every six months. Buy, rehab, renovate, refinance. Oh, sounds so <laughs> small scale. One every six months, yeah. Compared doing to that, a lot dude. of these people, yeah. Everyone's doing that, man. You got to step up your game. I know. I, know. <laughs> I got to start small and grow. Yeah, yeah. Stop with the money on that dumb shit And instead put it in investment I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again Stop wasting time on some nonsense And instead put it in a lesson I know it's boring But it's worth it at the end I know